Before the LA Convention Center swings open its doors for gaming's biggest annual trade show E3 next week, major companies from around the globe will hold keynote events during which fans will get to see the latest each has to offer. The world's most anticipated games will be there alongside big announcements and even bigger surprises. Ahead of the event, here are IB Times UK's five big predictions for E3 2017. Very little is known about Microsoft's showcase event on Sunday night, but we do know its immensely powerful 4K-enabled new Xbox console, codenamed Project Scorpio, will be taking center stage. A release date and price are expected to be revealed, as well as a final product name. We predict that Scorpio will draw inspiration from 2007's Xbox 360 redesign and Microsoft's pro-level Xbox One controller and be called the Xbox Elite. Unlike last year, Sony doesn't have to concern itself with new hardware at E3, leaving the focus squarely on games. God of War, Spider-Man and Days Gone, three of the big stars of Sony's show last year, will be there alongside unannounced projects. We expect one of those projects to be whatever it is Sucker Punch Productions has been working on since the release of its last game, standalone infamous Second Sun expansion First Light in 2014. Three years is long enough for whatever it is the studio has been hammering away at to finally be ready to take its bow, and where better than at E3. Another developer we suspect will make a long-awaited return is Retro Studios, the beloved Nintendo subsidiary responsible for the Metroid Prime trilogy. Much like Sucker Punch, Retro has been working in secret since the release of its last game, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, in 2014. With Nintendo Switch making waves and fans eager for news, now is the time to show the world what Retro has been working on, and we believe it will happen at Nintendo's E3 event on Tuesday. The first of this year's pre-E3 conferences will be held by EA on Saturday night, and BioWare are expected to be there with an expansion for Mass Effect Andromeda. Sadly, Andromeda has been considered a relative failure compared to the past heights of the series, and if reports that a sequel has been shelved are true, Bioware may be keen to move on. We suspect this will mean the debut of Bioware's new sci-fi series, which has been codenamed Dylan. Apparently, it's so called because the studio hopes to make the Bob Dylan of video games. Talk about aiming high. Our final prediction is that Bethesda will reveal a brand new open-world RPG series at its showcase on Sunday night, one that sits along its iconic Fallout and Elder Scrolls properties. According to reports indicating such a game is in the works, it'll be a space-faring science fiction title set in the same narrative universe as the aforementioned classics, and it will be called Starfield. E3 is sure to be another fun and exciting week for video game fans. For the latest, and to see just how wrong our predictions are, head to ibtimes.co.uk games.